And we're gonna remove the wheel. Use a 21 millimeter socket. If you have a wheel lock, loosen up the wheel lock first while you're on the ground. Remove the wheel. Remove the two caliper bolts. Use a 14 millimeter wrench. And if you have to, you can use some pliers or a wrench to prevent the pin from spinning. Just gonna use a screwdriver and just pry out the caliper a little bit. Just compress the piston and then just slide it off. You can use a brake caliper hanger and just find some place to hang it from. Should be good right there. Just make sure there's no tension on the brake hose itself. And we'll take the brake pads off. Now take the caliper bracket off. Use a 17 millimeter socket. Take those two bolts out. And slide the bracket off. Now take the rotor off. If you can't get it off, just by pulling it, take a hammer. Just give a bunch of taps, loosen it up. Just try not to hit the studs. There's these two threaded holes. You can take a bolt that threads into those holes and just tighten it up. See if you can loosen up the rotor that way. slide it off and just take a wire brush or a die grinder and just grind away some of the rust buildup on the hub surface you don't want to take off too much material but just take off some of the rust just take a little anti-seize put a nice thin coat on the hub take this little grommet out of the old rotor just use a small screwdriver just peel that up Transfer that over to the new one. Just line it up and push it in. And take the rotor, slide it on backwards first. Brake parts cleaner. Whoa. Clean it off and just take a rag and wipe it. Even on the inside a little bit. When you're sliding the rotor on with the rubber grommet, you want it lined up with that hole right there so that if you have to, you can take that off and make your adjustments for the parking brake. And the parking brake pads or shoes should just barely touch. If they're too tight, take them off. And then clean this up and wipe it away. Now we're gonna clean up the brake caliper bracket. Just use a straight blade screwdriver and just slide underneath the caliper slide. Take that off and take a wire brush and clean up any rust buildup right here. And take a thin coat of caliper grease, brake caliper grease, put that on and put the new pad slide on. And put a nice thin coat of grease right here and do the same on the other side. Now take the slide pins out. If you have to, you can use a pick And slide that out. Take a little brake parts cleaner. And clean it up. If it's extremely corroded, um, you wanna clean in the bore as well, but this one's not too bad. And take some brake caliper grease, grease up the pin. And slide the pin in. Make sure it seals on the boot. All the way around, that's good. 
and do the same on the other one. Now slide the bracket over the brake rotor and put the bolts back in. Now torque these bolts to 65 foot-pounds. Now install the brake pads. Now take the brake caliper hanger off. And we're gonna compress the piston into the caliper. You can use one of the old brake pads if you need to. And use a caliper compressing tool. And slowly compress the caliper. This is gonna push the piston into the caliper, pushing the fluid through the lines and hoses back up into the master cylinder reservoir. Nice and slow. Now slide the caliper over the brake pads. And put the bolts in. We'll torque these bolts to 25 foot-pounds, and if you need a wrench or pliers to prevent the pin from spinning, then just do that, use that. That's good. Now we're gonna pump the brake pedal, nice and slow. And check the fluid level in the master cylinder reservoir. And if it's low, make sure you top it off. If it's too high, you're gonna have to adjust accordingly. Put the wheel up and put the lug nuts back on. And torque the lug nuts to 77 foot pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. And go back again, just double check. 